Welcome back to The Talking Hedge. I'm Josh Kincaid, Capital Markets Analyst and host of your Cannabis Business Podcast. All right, today we're going to do another quick forecasting, this time for the New Jersey cannabis market, New Jersey being the large, largest recreational cannabis market on the East Coast. They've got a total population of around 8.8 million, the most densely populated of all of the United States. Doesn't help that they're smashed between New York City on the east and Philly on the west. So again, we're going to use Massachusetts as a baseline for New Jersey. So like New Jersey, Massachusetts had an operational medical cannabis market before. And like New Jersey, medical operators in Massachusetts were able to move to the med rec model. But Massachusetts first year sales, there was 33 cannabis retailers. New Jersey currently only has 10 operational vertically integrated medical marijuana licenses, most of which operate only as a single dispensary. So this is indicating that year one pipeline of supply and retail availability should be fairly similar between the two markets, um, somewhat of a shortage as there are in every single rollout that we've seen. So as we've said on this podcast for a long time, the tax revenue from cannabis legalization was a huge motivational factor for New Jersey voters in 2020, uh, more than Massachusetts voters in 2016. So Massachusetts year one total recreational sales were used to calculate New York's uh, year one spend, $78 and change. New Jersey was padded with an additional 10% to uh, assume that Pennsylvania and New York residents were going to cross the border and go shopping. So that was adjusted for a 9 million uh, person population. So all in all, top line sales for New Jersey are going to be forecasted at $740 million for the first complete year of sales. But it's important to note that if both Pennsylvania and New York have operational markets, by the time New, New Jersey's first year of sales happen, you're going to lose a lot more. So that's going to imply that the new forecast would be decreased down to $540 million. So they're going to lose around a quarter of a billion dollars uh, if or rather when uh, Pennsylvania and New York legalizes. So for final numbers, you're going to have to come back to the talking hedge and find out with that. We're going to roll this one up. I'm Josh Kincaid. This is the talking hedge. Don't forget to like share and subscribe or don't and I'm out. Don't forget to smash that like button on your way out and check out these other videos that we've got.